Today on BNI Mid America TV, it's the Notable Networker Show. These BNI members have been nominated by their peers for doing amazing things, reaching big accomplishments, and actively displaying the giver's gain philosophy. Listen as they share their golden nuggets for networking success. And now your host, Marcy Cascio Hale. Welcome everybody to BNI Mid America TV. This is the Notable Networker Show where you get a chance to listen as we talk with some of our seriously outstanding members and get their insights on business, BNI, and networking. My name is Marcy Cascio Hale and I am your host. And today I have with me Sean Sawyers. And Sean is so amazing. I know you're going to love this. He is with Leaders Council out of O'Fallon. They meet on Tuesday at 7.45 in the morning, and he holds the roofing and siding seat. He also is the secretary treasurer for their chapter, and he has been in BNI for four years. He is with First Source Contractors, like I said, out of O'Fallon. So welcome, Sean. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for coming today. I appreciate it. Um, I really want to dive in and start talking about your business. So please share with us what you do, who you do it for, and what's on your mind about your business. All right. Well, a little bit of background about our company. Uh, it started in 2003. The owners uh, were stormers and uh, got a lot of experience on roofing and uh, storm damage. Uh, and I think in 2012, they settled down here when St. Louis had their big storm. And uh, I was a uh, prior military for 20 years, retired in 2015, and came on to the company. And uh, with that experience uh, from the military, gave me that kind of attention to detail. So it kind of gives me the opportunity to look and solve problems. I was a satellite communications person uh, for my first part of my career, and then a recruiter in the very second, which made me a, a people expert person. Um, so uh, by doing that, like I said, I take the skills that the Air Force gave to me apply it to roofing, uh, kind of problem solving whenever a person has a leak and has made it so that uh, I can do the job once first having to say, give you that 50-50 chance of finding a problem that a person may have, uh, which makes it a cost savings for my customers in, uh, for their, their home. And I want to clarify something that you just said uh, at, at the beginning, because you said they were stormers. Can yeah. you explain what that is? Uh, the, so um, certain people will travel from from the storms that are here in the U.S., you know, whether it be like Katrina, they help with Katrina, because when a big storm hits an area like that, the local contractors can't handle it all, mm -hmm. you know, and in, a, in an addition to it, if a storm hits down south, most likely it won't hit up here north, and so you go down there, help support for, you know, six to 12 months, and uh, kind of take away some of that surge for the local contractors and then you come back home. Uh, the great thing is, is that, I mean, you're there helping them, but at the same token, helping yourself. But uh, um, they just got out of the business. They had um, a family, kids, they had four kids. And so you can't travel, you know, from storm to storm with four kids. That's a little bit hard. And uh, so they got some stability and stayed here local. Uh, they're here from local. Um, Kelly Miller, she grew up and graduated right here locally at O'Fallon High School. I don't know the year because I don't want to uh, disclose her age. I, I, wouldn't <laughs> want, I wouldn't want to share it even if you did know it. Um, well, I think that's really cool because when they were going to areas that were having issues, like you said, it was overwhelming for the local economy, the local uh, tradespeople. So I think that's really amazing. And then they came to O'Fallon and settled down. I love that they stayed in the community. That's great. Yeah. Um, now, I want to talk with you a little bit about your nomination. Okay. And so I want to read to you what was sent to me so that you know that, number one, people are watching you and they love what you're doing. And I think it's really important to point out to people that what they're doing is not going unnoticed. So, you know, they say character is doing, doing the right thing, even when nobody's watching. And it's, it's apparent through the comments that 
character is a word that describes you, a, per, a man of character. So I'm going to tell you what, what I've received. Sean is the epitome of the shy member becoming a superstar. Sean is an otherwise quiet member who over time has become a true advocate of BNI by stepping up into a leader position now in his second term as secretary treasurer for the chapter. If a member is feeling lost, Sean would be the perfect person to talk about, talk to about how becoming more engaged in BNI can bring a lot of benefits and insights for the member. So tell me, tell me how that feels to you. I, 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 it, very surprising. Uh, I could probably see myself as that, um, that caterpillar in the beginning, kind of in my own little cocoon, not wanting to reach out to too many people because in the beginning, I was, I'm not an owner. Like most people in, in BNI, they're the owner. So they have that vested interest. They, you know, can make the decisions and, and make those, you know, lefts and rights where I'm an employee kind of was told to do this. And that was probably me just in the back of the room, just to listen to everything I had to go, had to spend my one hour and then go. But uh, over the time, it's kind of grown on me. The people that we see every week, um, I truly wanted to, help those that help me because, I mean, there's been some bad months that we've had uh, and, you know, previous um, members that have sent people to me, even after they're gone, say, hey, I know a guy and I, I like to be that person's guy. And so uh, it, it really helps or really warms my heart that someone would pick me to do this. And uh, uh, when I first got your email, I kept forwarding you to the owner, you're like, no, they're telling me you are the person we want to talk to. So I, I'm, I'm bashful and probably turning a little red. Good thing the camera's not that close. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, you were nominated. And while yeah. your business is a great business, it's you who are representing the business that's created the real bond with your membership and with other members of BNI that that has made that connection and that impression on them. So it is about you. So yeah. when I did get your email, I was like, no, I want to talk to you. You're the guy. <laughs> yeah, so, and you. that's great because you, you are the guy, you're the man. I mean, thank that's you. perfect. Um, so I want to ask you too, how has BNI affected your business? Um, well, you know, so it's all about those connections. And I would tell you whether a person's came in for just a day, you know, for just being a visitor or whether they've came in and, you know, been there for a season or for the long term. I mean, it's helped me grow, help the business grow. And I mean, I, I, I could not repay back as much as I've given or received, you know, it's just, it's a kind of like one of those things that keeps on giving and mm -hmm. um, B and I has been wonderful for me and the company. That's great. Now, BNI is first, the first reason people join BNI is they want to make more money. And the first reason that people renew is the education. Uh, statistically, that's what we found out. Now, would it be fair to say you came because you saw the business having receiving value uh, financially and you've grown so much out of your time in BNI that you feel that you've really become a different person? Like oh, you're yeah. not as shy? Are you not as shy anymore? <laughs> it was, and the funny thing is I wasn't shy because I mean, I was an Air Force recruiter and thus the guy has to constantly go talk to everyone. Mm -hmm. But in BNI, because, you know, that was, it's out of my realm. I mean, and when I first started with BNI, I probably knew about six months about roofing. So someone really asked me a question. I was always having to go, um, wait one minute, let me call my boss. And then have to ask him the question. Mm -hmm. um, but now I've seen so much of it that, I mean, there's very few things that can stump me uh, when it comes to problem solving on the outside of a roof or a, a home. Uh, and, and the thing is, like I said, being the guy for people that is, I mean, could probably would help me grow is being that, that go-to person for whether it be, you know, something about BNI or something about roofing or just, Hey, 
I have a general question about contracting in general. Who do I talk to? And I can make that, those connections. You know, my friends, you know, whenever I talk to them, they're like, hey, do you know a guy? Of course I know a guy. I got BNI, I got people all over the world. Where do you want me to call? Where do you want me to do? And the BNI Connect has really made it so I can connect with a lot of people um, uh, across the globe, you know. That is one of my favorite things because I feel like a fixer, you know. Yeah. Like people can ask me a question. I'm like, I've got somebody for that. Right. It, it, it's my joy right there. It's yeah. my joy. So do you have any golden nuggets or networking tips that you would want to share with our viewers? Uh, golden nugget. I, I would probably tell treat your customer as family because then you'll always do right by them. You know, uh, there's certain things you could do right by business. But the thing is, is that at the end of the day, those connections you make with your customers, uh, will be long lasting. You know, I just today, I got a phone call. Um, it's probably my third or fourth customer. He gave me a call today. He actually was my very first visitor to BNI because, you know, they were like, hey, bring your customers, bring these people, let them tell your story about, you know, how well the service was. And at the time, I, again, didn't know anything about it. So he came in, he was talking about his company. And then uh, at the very end, he gave me a testimonial. I was like, you know, Sean made this so easy. And uh, I literally only had one phone call. I had to say, this is my contractor. And he took care of everything. And he's reaching back out to me. He's like, hey, I want to go back to that meeting that I went with you again, because uh, I want to talk a little bit more about joining. And again, that was three and a half years ago. You know, and some people, it's just, it's not right for them at that time. Mm -hmm. But it's right for them now. And like I said, he remembered, you know, I left a very good impression on him that, hey, and my chapter left a good enough impression that he's now wanting to come and visit the chapter again. Uh, once I told him by Zoom, I said, it's real easy now. You only have to leave the house. He's really excited. So uh, as long as that's available, he's going to be a, a great asset to our um, our chapter. Oh, that's amazing. That is really amazing. Um, Sean, we, we've already gone through our time. So I want to thank you for being here today and sharing your words of wisdom. This has been a great uh, show, if you will. And I love your, your energy and your um, enthusiasm. So thank you for being here. Well, thank you very much. And like I said, I, I'm just honored to be nominated for this. So uh, thank you for reaching out. Well, you're welcome. And totally well-deserved. And for our viewers, anybody who wants to get a hold of Sean, learn about his business, his BNI experience, or just about him, feel free to check out the show notes because there's information there on how to get a hold of him. And I want to thank you, our viewers, for spending time with us and encourage you to look at the other BNI Mid-America TV shows. We have the Gold Club Member Spotlight, New Member Spotlight, among others. So feel free to check those out. And also, please click subscribe and share this with your family and friends and especially share it with somebody who's looking to grow their business. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day. Thank you. For more information on how BNI can help you build your business, book your complimentary consultation with Virginia Moose Keith at discoverbniminamerica.com. BNI Mid America TV is brought to you by the Bergman Insurance Group your trusted source for Medicare information, education, and enrollment. Be sure to check out the show notes for additional information on how to contact today's host or guest about their business. And thanks for watching.